Hi, this is Brett here in the Aeromotive Tech Department. I wanted to take a quick minute today on Tech Tuesday to talk about filters. Um, filters are uh, an area where there's a lot of confusion. Uh, confusion with respect to do I need a filter before the pump? Do I need a filter after the pump? Can I just use one? You know, there's, an, there's kind of a, an adage that I've used for years that you're better off using no filter than the wrong filter. Now that sounds kind of crazy, but if you have a filter that is the wrong filter for the job and it creates a restriction and it doesn't allow the fuel to get in the pump or get out of the pump, then we've obviously created a bigger problem than, um, than we may be trying to solve. In other words, you can roll the dice and say, I'm going to go without a filter and take my chances and you have a chance of having a problem. The filter is like an insurance policy. Or you can actually just put a filter in that's the wrong filter and I can guarantee you you'll have a problem. So what's important about filters and how do you make the right choice? First of all, you need to decide where am I going to put a filter, before the pump or after the pump. There's a lot of confusion on that topic. People don't realize that just about since, well, since the internal combustion engine, there's always been two filters in an engine environment, a pre-pump filter and a post-pump filter. Even in the 1950s, the old uh, uh, 55 Chev had a screen on the pickup tube, that was your pre-filter, had a filter after the old diaphragm mechanical pump, that was your post-filter, and it's always been a coarse pre and a finer post. Bottom line is, what's the difference between a 100 micron and a 10 micron filter? Isn't the 100 micron finer? Uh, or is it actually coarser? The, the fact is the 100 is the coarsest filter, the 10 is the finest. You want to run your 100 micron as the suction side or pre-filter to the pump. This is going to keep the rocks and marbles out of the pump, but it's not going to starve or cavitate the pump. On the pressure side, we can afford to go finer. We might actually go on a carbureted engine with a 40 micron post filter. That would be stainless and cleanable, just like the 100 micron pre. Or if we're really picky about our carburetor float bowl, we could go down to a 10 micron. Or if we're fuel injected, we could go down to a 10 micron. So these elements are, in some cases, serviceable. The stainless elements you can typically clean. There is a tech bulletin on our website on how to clean coarser stainless steel filters. The finer filters, the 10 micron paper element, or maybe the 10 micron microglass, which we'll talk about in a second. These filters generally have to be replaced. You can't clean them. On the pressure side of the pump, in fuel injection, it really boils down to you're going to run a 10 micron filter, but which one? If it's gasoline with up to 10% ethanol, 10 micron paper or cellulose element is just fine. If you're going to have ethanol to a greater than 10% content, maybe E85. If you're going to be in a racing environment with ethanol or methanol, you'll run the microglass element. One thing we do see though in the marine world is we'll run the microglass a lot on a boat because if you get a little moisture in the tank in a boat and that actually makes it through the pump to the filter, a cellulose element can absorb that water and swell up and start to shut down and not flow well, whereas the, the microglass material will actually flow freely all the time. Aeromotive offers a complete line of pre and post filters. We have them in AN12 housings, AN10 housings, we have them in canister style. Um, the right filter for the job is pretty much well defined when you look at the power planner on our website. If you have a particular pump and you want to know what filter you need, find the pump on the power planner at aeromotiveinc.com. Look at the part numbers for the filters in the power planner diagram. Those are the right filters for the job. If you have additional need for support, have questions, feel free to give us a call on the tech line, aeromotiveinc.com, tech help, tech bulletins, However you want to go about it, we've got all this information available at your fingertips. Hope you have a great day and thanks for choosing Aeromotive.